Oh, the overheat bar. Right, right, I get you. Uh, handheld grapple, tether, lifetime. Oh, okay, the deployment mechanisms. That would actually be kind of a, a neat one to upgrade. Not sure we will, though, but... Um, fuel capacity might be good. I'm assuming the fuel capacity is still upgraded. Is is that right? Uh, sorry, um, what am I saying? Use your words, Avic. Uh, I'm assuming, like, oxygen capacity, a fuel canister fully refuels, and, and likewise at the store, a, a single purchase fully refuels. Because if so, increasing the capacity just means that uh, I get more fuel per similar, uh, per, like, dollar that I spend on refueling. Avic, it's okay. Words are hard. They are hard. I'm glad. I'm glad you, that you agree, Ogrim Darkwalker. My brain has to do a lot of, lot of, you know, it's a major engineering effort to to get, you know, my voice box to make sound and my lips and my tongue to articulate in the right way to turn, though those raw, unrefined sound waves into the elegant, artisanal words that that massage your your ear canals. And don't even get us started on the fact that I I'm speaking. It's somewhere in Scotland, and you're he hearing me all across the globe. No, it's it's very, very complicated. Words are hard. Super hard. Uh, that being said, fuel is not the biggest thing that I'm dealing with. Uh, unlocks O2 recharge? Reach what? I install an atmosphere pump filter subsystem that allows for the gradual replenishment of breathable oxygen tanks while in a pressurized environment. Wow. I can steal O2. Next. Next one, we get O2 capacity. I mean, how often am I going to be playing around with pressurized areas? I mean, this seems really good. That being said, it would take me two seconds to refill one point of O2. But I, since I am refilling it, I'm assuming that, that that's including my, my consumption of O2. So whilst I'm in a pressurized environment, I basically... I'm just slowly refilling my tank. Uh, is it is it possible to buy your own equipment? I believe so. Yeah, purchase helmet down here at rank 19. Get rid of all rental costs. Yeah, I'm going to grab this one. That one seems like it's going to greatly improve my uh, overall... Um, experience now i could upgrade my suit integrity as well that seems like it might be a wise move heat resistance electrical resistance uh can't have demo charges for a while cross spectrum scanner scan mode object Ooh. this visor mode connects to a remote neural network to perform a gestalt analysis and determine what is being viewed provides relevant information from the lynx component catalog Would this tell me how expensive something was? Because that sounds really bloody good. If I could at a glance see what was worth salvaging or what was I didn't care about, that would be amazing. Uh, removes the lead shielding normally required to operate the device in an open environment, allowing for greater scan range. Legal precedent considers all salvages to still be protected by these <laughs> Well, wow. never scrap a door by mistake again. Okay, well, we're going to save up for that one, I think. All right, time for us to get a new ship. It's that time. All right, we're done with that one. Class one reactor, power cell, thruster class one. Uh, repair kit there. 
last owner. Class one react. I imagine all of these are going to be the same. Quasar thrusters. Okay. Hmm. A quasar thrust thrust is something I need to be concerned about. Chat seems to have been talking a lot about them quasar thrusters. I've seen that word pop up a lot. There's an exolab down here. I didn't mind taking those apart actually last time. That's only 13 million there. What was the one with the quasar thrusters? 40 million. That's actually not terrible. I wouldn't mind doing the exolab, actually. Uh, we've also got the scout patrols. Has, oh, hazard level is only four there. It's worth 11 million, but uh, I think we're going to do the exolab for the 13 mil. Yeah, we're going to do the Exolab. I enjoyed playing around with that ship the last time we, we had a chance to. It'll be fun to see how they can uh, they can change up. Because so far we've seen a lot of them at different shapes. Like uh, different configurations in, in small ways. Imperial Electronic. Let's find if they have any secrets. Don't forget, Avic, that when you are in a pressurized area, your O2 stops decreasing. And there are upgrades that let you actually renew O2 while in pressurized areas. Uh, yeah, I just picked that up, Winged Flames. I literally just bought that one. Thank you very much. Morning, folks. And then beauty. How are y'all holding up? I'm holding up what? Oh, my lord. What? Hello? Hello? I can't hear you, Kaido. Hi. Looking Try dapper. Try to you another frequency, and then back again. Are the equivalents of turning off and on again? Can you hear me now? Yes. I hear you. Hey, okay. I have a question. What's this administrator gonna do? They're being countered. Waste our time with productivity reports. Oh, they've come here before? Sure. Loads of times. Profits drop, they send someone. Accidents go up, they send someone. Sometimes they just send someone to find out if they need to send someone. <laughs> that ain't a that big deal, Kai. sounds very you much... Heard right, Paulson? I guess they're just sleeping around for union stuff. Oh, balls. Right? Yeah. Gonna be here a week, tops. These types have the attention span of a gopher. So move on pretty quick. What's by my tennis? What? Boy, you better come visit sometime on Mars when you're done here. <laughs> One day, we'll all go see them gophers. What not? Keep that front of mind and don't fret none. Carry on now. We were out. There we go. Off you go to the barge. Try not to smack anything on your way. down there as well. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. Oh, I can just punt this one in there. Nope. Other way. Ah, apparently that thing's going to punt me instead. Fair enough. What else we got up here that I can take Salvage off easily? It looks like these are actually all connected in there, which is going to be a little bit more of a pain in the bum to deal with, but it's not the worst, I guess. Oh, actually, no, I can pull off the communications array. That'll be a nice, easy one as well.
Please don't spin down there. You're going to break something. Bye. Send you down. There we go. Alright. Now, how much of this is pressurized? Only the external areas are. Alright, so I can just go straight in for now. Then repressurize, open one of the cabins, then depressurize, I'm gonna guess. The reactor is over there, which is an interesting one. We've also got the thruster at the back. But before we start messing around with any of the uh, power cells, I need to remove the thruster. I think that makes a lot of sense. Once all of that's done, I can start looking at other stuff. I'd also depressurize it as well. There. You've got a lot of stuff in here that I'm going to be able to yank. Uh, right, let's just make sure. Yep, we're good. Oh, nice try. I'm on to you, scallywag door. That is how we would gain access to the sides. Hmm. Okay, that would have been a lot easier if I just oh, opened the door first still. then. If I pressurized the whole place first, open that door, and maybe if there was a, an air processor in here, might have been able to do a little bit more. Oh well. Who, who did a thing? Let me have a look. So now the soul again with another tip. I'm back. I'm surprised at you. It is supposed to be Americans dumping space debris on unsuspecting countries. Not the Welsh. I'm not dumping it on unsuspecting countries. I sent them a letter. They know it's coming. Uh, right. First and foremost. Is that disconnected this now? It has, actually, yeah. Perfect. Okay. Well, we can just remove the uh, the back side of this, then. But yeah, I definitely wish I had considered using that first. That being said, now that I've removed the door, this should control both. So yeah, I'll be able to repressurize the whole cabin, I imagine. Then cut in, take out one of the walls, and then... Okay, well, if I remove that first, then no, we can't do that. I need to I need to repressurize the entire internal space, then cut a hole in one of the walls so that it can't repressurize, uh, can't uh, isolate the pressure. Basically, I need to do that and then remove the door if I can, I guess. Um, airlock console. Pressurizing. Okay. Now. Let's get Air this pressure level pressurized. There we go. Now. If I can find. Oh, there's another door there. Is there a way for me to. Stabilizing. Is there another way for me to disable this, I wonder? I mean, if I, I... Ooh, actually, that's a good point. If I take off the door control, if I yoink the door control, will that disable a system? If I were to pull this off, will this door no longer close, is the question. 
I guess there's only one way to find out. Pull it off. Uh, please don't spark and kill me. Find out if that door is now busted or not. Hopefully this works. Because if this works, then I no longer need any power in here. Connected. Okay, well, now I can't easily control it. Air pressure level increasing. Can I close and then yoink the doors? That's another good question. The, when the doors were closed, I couldn't seem to do anything with them, so I'm not sure about that. Uh, let's see. Just remove a panel, maybe it would work. I can't even see the aperture for the door. So it's not even like I can really interact with that. Which is a bit annoying. Um. Yeah, I, I guess the only thing I can really do is to... Cut the aperture out. Cut the panel, rather. Oh well. The main thing is that right now, I'm not actually using any oxygen, so it's fine. I can take my time learning. Yeah, the, the, I don't think I'm going to care much about the internal panels. Should I try cutting the door out? I, or just the panels? You got five minutes remaining in your shift, Cutter. Five minutes. We were out. I don't mind learning right now. I don't really care too much if uh, it takes me time. Nice and simple. And over here as well. That is not what that <laughs> looked like. Whatever, game. This is a little bit of a mess in here now, I'm going to be honest. It's fine. Alright. And we... Oh. Huh. So, now that that is broken, I cannot actually remove it. Hmm. That's a bit of a worry. Okay, well, I guess that's not how we do it, then. Uh, I, I assume, then, that the only way to remove these things is to uh, cut into a panel, then? I shouldn't be stuck in here. I should be able to still um, use the airlock, regardless. That is now a bit of a mess. And there, I'm not going to lie. The moment I pop this open, I'm going to violently decompress this entire ship. Sometimes you just got to be a little bit uh, crazy. 
I assume I'm going to violently decompress it. Or rather, as we would say, explosively. Uh oh, is that going to explode? Fine. Calm down. We're fine. Nothing of value was lost. What are you? Uh, you need to be over here. But that was actually a fairly easy way to decompress the ship, actually. Maybe I'm going to have to do that again in the future. Calm down. Uh, this needs to go to the barge. But we did get the whole thrust this time. Deposit accepted for processing. Could have been a lot worse, actually, considering. Registered. Transferring credit. Cutter, your equipment durability is dropping. An eye on it. You don't yep. want to be dangling in the wind with busted tools. Bet. You see it happening. Head on back to the hab. <laughs> use the repair kit to fix them up. Look how amazingly that worked. It, ca it caught all of the bits that I didn't want flying everywhere. Ah, oh, I'm totally going to do this again. I have learned nothing from my escapades. I have been rewarded for my silliness. Ah, this is the way life should be. Could you go over there? Oh, wow. You went way faster than I was expecting. Uh, well, don't worry about that. Thankfully, we're no longer in an atmosphere, so I don't think it matters as much. Um... Yeah. Sell it before it burns. Well, I there was no way I was going to be able to get that out of here before it burns, but... <sighs> oh, well. I don't know if there is or... Uh, if there is or not, but did you check the for a regulator in the outer hull? I didn't, no. That was 100% a derp. Also a really, really poor um, shift, but... We destroyed one atmospheric regulator. Oh well. It's not the worst thing. It, it is a pain to have lost it. You know, no, no, uh, no lie there, but oh well. Good morning, Cutter 9346 52. Lynx would like to share the following inspirational message The greatest reward in life is the chance to work hard at work worth doing. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Well, this shift we might not be able to hit level 5 on, and that does bother me more than I would like to admit, but... Yeah, it's not... It's surprisingly not a bad quote, yeah. Actually, let's go through the airlock. Should now just be open, basically, at all times. Yes, it is. That is still burning. It is now gone. Destroyed, <laughs> destroyed scrap. Zero credits. That's fine. go through one of the doors or well actually no we want to go through the floor realistically it's going to be the easiest one and then we've got a lot of stuff in here that we can start emptying out
Dude, that looks so much worse than it actually is. Now we'll cut uh, the other floors as well. Got rid of a little bit of aluminium as well. Again, not the worst thing to lose, but I'd rather not lose it if I don't have to, if I'm honest. Let's try and not get too free with just accepting unnecessary losses. And salvage, the faster we'll pay off our debt. I should probably have repaired my tools, actually. Came a little bit too close to me there. Processing valuable deposit. Credits transferred. Oh, yeah. No. Okay, fair enough. Don't really need to pull that out right now. So I may well want to disconnect power before I start pulling too much stuff away. I don't know. Uh, this can go into the barge. Since I've not actually interacted with that much, like pulling out lights and things like that whilst there's still power, I assume that that is a way that you cause electrical faults and then it get el uh, electrocuted. Salvage and yes, I totally Account just tried that to see if that would happen. to go down there if you could. Oh. That accepted. was an uh, instinctive tr attempt to protect my suit. I'll accept it, though maybe I should be less instinctively violent when trying to protect my suit. Oh, grapple damaged. Okay. 75% on that now. How quickly do things get uh, worn down, I wonder? Because I didn't realize it was that close to 75% before. Check the barge. Some wrong stuff made it down there. You're quite right. Quite right. There's a door. not going to get. Uh, I'm assuming that's close enough that it's going to get pulled in. I don't know. One would hope that there's enough pull in there. Don't know if there is, but we'll see. Are there any O2 tanks in here? Didn't actually pay close enough attention before. Object accepted for processing. Credits deposited. Salvage secured. There we Credits go. deposited. 
Definitely want this poster. Uh, were there any other posters in here that I didn't already have? I think I already had that one, to be honest. But Let's see. Two in here. Uh, the super patch kit is nice, but not exactly what I'm looking for. There was an Atmo regulator in here, though. Uh, door control. Warning. Oxygen reserves are dropping. Indeed they are. It might have been worth, like, cutting everything up in here whilst there was atmosphere in there. I don't know. There is a part of me, though, that's like, eh, maybe I shouldn't be, like, you know, just randomly cutting things up whilst in an oxygenated environment. Call me old-fashioned, but that sounds like how you get uh, fires in space. Even though the last time I was at critical oxygen levels, I almost died in my rush to get back to the hab. So let's perhaps take it a little bit more seriously this time. Welcome to oxygen levels stabilizing. Very good. can remove the front plates and I can just start getting inside and remove some more flooring. I think the floor is what I need to go for. That and removing the power cells. Remove the power cells first before I start trying to faff around with removing wiring. Parasol there for the time being. Yes, there must be parasols on the other side still. Yes, there are. Quite a few, actually. Wow. The reactor is still armed, so I guess that's probably going to just be powering it passively. Oh no, there's a bunch on the top as well. I'm blind. Are there ones on the top of this one? Mm, yes, they were. Oh, they had a lot of power cells in this one. Back up against the electrified conduits there. Don't worry, I'm a professional. Don't try this at home. Salvage secured. Applying credit. Right, hopefully this powers everything down. Find time for me to start taking apart the uh, walls then.
looking dapper. Come here. And off we go. Who that? Who is? Thank you very much for the prime. That's super kind of you. You only got one of those to use. So I really appreciate you using it here. Thank you, mate. Very, very much appreciated indeed. Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. Is there anything else in here that I need? Yes. And you need to make... Oh, you're going to be a tricky one, actually. Ooh, I need to get those disconnected. I feel. Try to get this up and over. Let's see if that will... Ooh. Let's try and guide it. Guide it. There we are. That'll do. That was a little bit closer than I would like. Oh, no. I can see something hilarious happening there. It tried to. I'm on to you, game. Don't think I didn't notice that. Scoundrels. I'll trust this game further than you can throw it. And this is a spaceship, so you really can't throw it very far. Salvage Don't mind me while I just laser through a wall. Object process. Yeah, that was a little bit wild. No, 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 no. Don't, don't take me! My lord. This game. Fairly sure it just tried to furnace me. Shit's almost done in the middle, Cutter. One minute right. left. Radio. Processing object. Applying credit to account. A little bit behind schedule. This should be the shift where I get the second. Huh. How do I get you off from here? How do I disconnect you exactly? Oh, right. It's a little bit further down. My bad. Here we go. This is what we want to just uh, remove. There we go. A little bit of extra work. Uh, you can use the grappler to yank out the junctions instead of cutting them. They aren't worth anything, however. Oh, right, okay. Uh, you know what? I think I did that last stream, yeah. It's a rite of passage to get furnished at least once before they nerfed the Atmo decompression. That typically is what threw you in there. I see. They nerfed it? Uh, fair enough. Uh, 2.5 million, that's not too bad. I had... I would have liked it if we were over there, but, you know. It's not terrible. It was a decent, decent shift. So if I'm being processed, can I charge a Lynx of you? Oh, if only the world worked like that. But I'm fairly certain that since the Lynx own you, uh, they don't need to pay Good the fee. Good morning, Shipbreaker. Lynx would like to share the following message. The only peas permitted in the salvage yard are profit, processor, and potassium trifluoromethane sulfonate. <sighs> Very well. What's our debt? Hey, oh, look at that! We're, we're below... Well, we're, we're below the 1.221 billion mark. That's some progress right there. We, we, we can see a zero in the first four numbers. Oh, how lucky we are. New sticker unlocked. 
Nice. Salvage 500 kilogram electric cable wise. Very well. We are very, very fortunate. Uh, actually, shall we check if we've got any messages? What? <gasps> That's how we... Ah, oh, fantastic. Now we know. Uh, okay, nothing there. Nothing there. Kilograms, that shatters my poor American brain. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. Don't worry. Uh, right. Now, where is our new sticker? That is definitely something that we want to place on you. There. I also desperately need to repair my equipment. Ooh, I don't want my thrusters not working. Ye gads. Yes. Uh, yes. If anything is dropped below 80%, it gets a repair. Maybe I should say 85%. What, what's a good, like, I don't know how the wear and tear in this game works. Do do things get progressively less useful? Or is it more of a threshold system? It's like, you know, once it's below one-fifth, it does something. Once it's below so-and-so, so-and-so. Every 50 below, it doesn't completely stop working. Even below 50, it doesn't completely stop working, sorry. I don't worry about it until you hit at least 50. Right, okay. Hey, bad credits! Bad credits, I'm sorry to tell you, but uh, your servant had to, to be uh, put down. Uh, I tried to stop them. Ethan just came in, uh, a, a madman with a mission, and the mission was to help me move my castle, and uh, yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't tell you to not kill them. So uh, you killed yourself on them, which was very much the case with, with Ethan. You had a gear score of like 31. His is 77. It was... Over very quickly. But we've uh, moved Castle up to the uh, farms area. I'll show you it to you later. So, about... F uh, I know below 75, the laser cutter starts to lose heat capacity. Hmm. Okay. We have 17 repair kits, and I pick up loads every time I go out. So, I'm actually not going to worry too much. And I am going to just repair it. I won't worry about it if it's above 87%, though. That, that seems excessive, even for me. But it may be worth me cutting down how fast they uh, they break down. That seems reasonable. Much more reasonable now that I've seen that in action. Right, let's go. No, no, no. They were just sent to a nice farm. Uh, that would make sense if they were the thrall, though. It would. It would make much more sense if if our servants were thralls and not vampires. Hashtag make servants thralls. I'm not going to stop complaining about that yet. That is, that is going to be my issue. <laughs> is this disconnected? It is. Alright, you need to go... Oh, you need to go in the barge, which is kind of a pain in the backside. I'll have to take the other one out first, then. Remember, chat? You don't need to reorient yourself. It's tapped, you know, obviously to uh, fit into spaces. But... Up, down, left, right, they, they have significantly less meaning in space. Well, I mean left, right, still do, but up and down, a lot less. So just remember, down is where you want to go. And there's lots of reasons for that when you think about it. Our brains are already kind of pre-programmed to think of down as where our... As, uh, 
where we should be putting our feet. And if you're moving in a direction and you think of it as down, you're probably going to be doing all kinds of weird things with your arms on a subconscious level to try and orient it so your feet are in that direction. Like, your brain's going to be completely lost up here, but a brain is very, very easy to confuse. You can tell it lies. It just needs a, a little bit of a nudge to decide that something else, that something is, uh, data that it's got is overwritten. So the fact that it can't actually tell up and down, you just need to, to say, yeah, down is where I want to be. And all of a sudden, it's going to try and face your feet that way. And the nice thing about that is your feet are really good at shock absorbing. It's almost like they were designed for it. Your face, however, as we have already discovered, significantly less at shock, good at shock absorbing. I mean, I didn't die when I smacked something with my head, but I almost did. My helmet really didn't enjoy the experience. And neither did my lungs. My lungs were very unhappy with what happened next.